Hey guys, it's Jacqueline from The Sunday Project. Today I'm going to show you how you can do boxer braids on shorter hair. Let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need a comb with a nice sharp edge like this to kind of partition your hair, duckbill clips to hold the hair that you're not going to braid in place just because it's going to be easier for you if you do that, hair ties for when we're done. In my opinion, the hardest part about this hairstyle is getting your hair parted straight down the middle, which I can never seem to do perfectly. So if I don't do it in this video, please forgive me and try your best. So that's what we need the sharp edge of this comb for. What you want to do is just take it straight down and part your hair down the middle and then around the back. So I'm going to turn around and show you that. So try your best to kind of split your hair straight down the middle. Use your duckbill clips to hold the hair that you aren't going to braid yet in place. So we're going to start working on this side of your head and then you take about an inch section of hair and you're going to do a Dutch braid and you want to just make sure that you're doing your braid kind of along the side here and then down and since my hair is pretty short I'm not going to get all of it especially um, the shorter strands here in the very back. So when I get to the bottom, I'm just going to tie it off. But if your hair was longer, then you just keep going until all your hair is incorporated and then you tie it off. To do a Dutch braid, it's kind of like doing a reverse braid. So instead of going over each strand, you go under as you braid down. Remember to always braid in the direction that you want your hair to go to. Once you have a few braids in place, then you start adding pieces from the left and the right and incorporating that into your braid like I'm doing here. With one side done, do the same on the other side. Use a mirror to make sure that your braids are balanced and going in the same direction because you don't want one to be laying at the side of your head and then the other one going straight back or something like that. I'm going to speed up this process because it must be really boring to watch me just braid my hair but basically that's it! like to do at this point is you can keep it like this very neat very kept if you like or you could do what I do and that's to mess it up by I'm just gonna look down the mirror here so I can see what I'm doing um kind of like pulling strands out as I do <laughs> so just kind of pulling hair out and just making it a little messy and if you do wear this to work out then it's definitely gonna fall out a little bit anyway and it's gonna get kind of messy so it'll get there for you and then I like to kind of pull it apart just a little bit, not too much, because your, if your hair is as short as mine, if you pull it apart too much, then it's just going to fall out of the braid and it's going to be too messy. So I just kind of like to loosen it up a little bit, especially here in on the top where the braid was tighter, um, just to give it a little more body and to make me look a little bit less like Heidi. It just gives your hair a little bit more volume and then pulling it out just makes it look a little bit more relaxed and you're ready with your boxer braids. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to get more tutorials from me and hit the like button. Let me know if you have any suggestions on what else you'd like to see me do. I'll see you next time. Bye!